Paul said that if anyone preaches a gospel to you, contrary to the one that we preach to you, let him be accursed. Galatians 1.8. Those are very heavy words. So the question is, how do we know if someone's preaching a different gospel? How do we know if someone is preaching false doctrine? Do we need to watch those videos that people are putting up of what every person is saying and showing every error that people are making and telling us who we should watch and who we should stay away from? These channels that are called discernment ministries. What if I told you something really shocking that you don't need to rely on the discernment of other people at all? You can have that discernment yourself. Now, I've got a note in front of me. Why have I got an American note? That's another story. But anyway, it is a $1 note or bill. And how would I know if this is real or fake? How do I know? I have no idea. I'm trusting that it's real. I, I assume that it's real. But could I ultimately know? Could someone that was very clever create one that is very similar to this and I wouldn't know the difference? Yeah, absolutely. I would have no idea how to distinguish. How would I know the difference? How could I identify fake? It would be to know what the real one looks like, to know every detail of what the real one looks like, to be able to identify it so well that I could spot like that the smallest thing on a fake note because I've studied this in depth. No one could possibly lead me astray. I'd be able to pick it up in an instant. I would have amazing discernment as to what a real $1 bill is and what a fake $1 bill is. So how do we identify what the true gospel is and how do we identify if someone's preaching a gospel contrary to the gospel that Paul preached? Well, it's exactly the same way. That we know the true gospel so well. We know good doctrine so well. We know what the Bible teaches so well that when someone preaches something that is not found here, something that is twisted, something that does not align with what the Bible says, that we know because we know the Bible so well. We know the gospel so well. We know God's word inside out. And we could pick up in an instant when someone is saying something that doesn't align with God's word, no matter how subtle that deception may be. So the most important thing that we can do as believers is not to rely on other people, not to rely on these videos that are going up. And a lot of the times in these types of videos, it's very obvious error. They're pointing out very obvious error. Now, there are people that might benefit from this because they might be new in the faith or they might not know these things yet. But if you are someone who has been in the faith for quite some time and you would consider yourself a mature believer, you should know how to identify the false gospel like that. Alarm bells should start ringing inside of you and the discernment of the Holy Spirit, if you're walking in the truth of the Holy Spirit, will immediately alert you to any error and you'll be able to pick it up like that because you can develop discernment yourself. So what I would say is don't spend all of your time watching all of these types of channels and it's like people giving you a fish. Rather learn how to fish, how to discern for yourself and put in the hard work to, to learn the gospel, to study the scriptures, to, to read the Bible so that when someone goes to deceive you, you will know instantly. I don't need to watch any of those videos. I don't need to even watch five seconds to know that a number of those people are false. As soon as they open their mouth, it gives them away because I know what the true gospel is. So the question is, do you know the true gospel? Do you know what the Bible actually says? And are you able to be discerning enough to know when someone strays from that? Because Paul said, and it was very serious, that if anyone preaches a different gospel, let them be accursed. This truly is life and death and the state of many people's souls is at stake because of this and many people are being led astray because they do not know the word of God. So the question is, do you know the word of God? And if you don't know it well enough, are you going to begin to start to know it better today? God bless you, friends.